Behind me is the Space Shuttle Enterprise, which is going to be leaving here next month to be replaced with Space Shuttle Discovery. Enterprise was the first shuttle ever built, a test vehicle that never flew in space. She will move to a museum in New York City, and Discovery will take her place in the Smithsonian Space Hangar. Square footage-wise, I think it's in the 70,000 square feet, but it's also vertical space when you deal with artifacts this big. The tail of the Enterprise is 59 and a half feet tall. Air and space is really about a lot of space because our artifacts are big. Some of them are big. Others are smaller, but no less important to the story of spaceflight. About six feet in front of the telescope, so you can take me out from also. Kathy Sullivan was the first American woman to go outside on a spacewalk. I suppose you'd like some tools to work with in a couple hours. And shortly thereafter, uh, her gloves were offered to us. The gloves are the only bit of the shuttle suit that really were pretty custom molded to uh, each astronaut. So that the tip of your finger was as close as possible to the tip of the glove. Some artifacts tell a story of engineering and exotic materials. Others tell a story of culture and camaraderie. Mel Roy is the third female pilot in the shuttle program. I met uh, Valerie Neal, and she said, have you thought about donating any to anything to the museum and that, that has flown? Copy, go for docking. And she proposed the scrunchie and uh, that was something she wore to hold her hair back. This is uh, Pam Melroy's scrunchie, and uh, actually one of her hairs is still attached to the scrunchie, and that's something we actually want to preserve. We want to keep with the artifact. Houston Discovery and Alpha capture confirmed. In weightlessness, long hair can get in other people's way or even get caught in equipment. And so keeping your hair restrained is actually very, very important to do. This Bambo bringing by a, uh, a CWC. That really embodies what I think is important about being an astronaut, is taking care of your crew and your vehicle. So that's why I donated it.